pretty smooth, right? And let me tell you one thing. This is not an Android TV, by the way. This is just a simple Samsung TV with a Wi-Fi in it. So let's just hit the intro. Hey, what is up, everybody? And I hope I hope everybody's doing good, doing uh, doing well. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can screen mirror your iPhone to a Samsung TV or any non-android tv so in my case i'm going to be using samsung so you can be you can be using anything you can be using some uh, sony and whatever you like all right so the first thing you want to do is make sure your iphone is connected to a wi-fi connection or ethernet connection or any connection possible so download a free app called screen Bearing app i'll be uh, linking the app in the description box below so you can just click on it and download it for free once the app is downloaded, you don't have to do anything, by the way. Oh, don't forget to subscribe because there's tons more content coming soon. All right, so one more thing that you need to check. Go to settings and uh, go to the control center and make sure you have recording option in there. So if you're using older iOS or maybe you just don't like the uh, recording option, just make sure it's in the control center. So just click the plus icon and it will be on the top. So that's it. That's pretty much it. No need to do anything else on your iPhone. Now let's jump to your TV. All right, so in my case, right now, I'm going to be using Samsung TV. This is a non-Android model. Uh, it does have a, a, a Wi-Fi connection and a smart hub, so obviously. All right, so the first thing you want to do on your uh, TV is make sure your TV is connected to the Wi-Fi connection. So in my case, I've I've done this before. I'm not going to do it again, obviously. So just make sure you, uh, your TV is connected to the Wi-Fi connection, like mine is. If you have done this before, just go to the network set, uh, status and just make sure your TV is connected to the Wi-Fi connection. So there you go. You're connected to the internet. Now just close the network settings and go to the smart hub and uh, open a browser. So you, you might have a different controls for this one or maybe you just have just lazy, lazy like me and go to settings and stuff like that. So just go to the smart hub and uh, open a browser and uh, type a URL in there. So it's a pretty simple URL. You can see uh, the URL at the bottom of your screen for the uh, for the clear vision, obviously. So just type tv.app. That's it. Just hit enter, and it will automatically pop a screen that will just just type tv tv.app. So pretty simple, right? And just click enter. It will pop a screen, which will help us uh, connect our iPhone to a uh, to our TV. So. Once you type the URL, just click OK, and uh, you should be able. To, you should be seeing this screen in a while, right there. See, pretty simple, right? You'll be seeing a barcode and a code itself. So, hmm. now what you want to do on your iPhone is to just open the app, and uh, uh, just you can enter the code manually, or you can just scan the barcode. In my case, I'm going to be entering. I'm, I'll be entering the uh, the code manually. So. Just type in the code. Pretty simple, right? So let me just type the code in really quick. There you go. Got P one E T W K. So it 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 might it has to be different code for your TV. Obviously, you can't just copy paste my code. <laughs> but no, seriously, you have a different code. Just type the code into the app and uh, just click OK. Once you click OK, it might ask you to pop an ad. So you just want to watch an ad. It's a free ad. Just click watch ad and just oh, by the way, don't skip the ad by the way. It will just cancel the whole situation. So uh, once the ad is finished, just click uh, X on the top and that's it. Just click on the uh, start broadcasting and just click on the start broadcasting once again. It takes about a few seconds uh, and there you go. It should be it should be done. Pretty easy, right? And by the way, it might ask you to uh, display some different sources on your TV. So just might not happen, by the way. It might not happen to you. It has happened to me. So just click show all and it will automatically show all sources. So once you click show all, it will automatically uh, broadcast your iPhone screen to your TV. Like, there you go. Now you're uh, mirroring your iPhone screen to your Samsung TV. It's pretty cool, right? You can, uh, you don't have to need, you don't need to, de you don't need to have an Android TV in order th for this to work. So, by the way, if you have an Android TV and you want this to be more simple, you can watch the video on top right corner. I'll be, uh, you'll be seeing the card on top. So yeah, you can, you can, you can do quite a lot with this one. You can, you can watch YouTube if you want to. You can play games if you want to. You can listen to music, view pictures. Not gonna show you, not gonna show you my pictures, obviously. But you can, you can, you can, you can do quite a lot with this one. You can also use camera if you want to, by the way. 
So it's a pretty cool feature, right? Oh, cool. Uh, there you go. I'm just I'm just showing off how you how you can uh, manage this, uh, uh, how you can you know make this work. So. Oh, by the way, if you want to cancel this, you don't have to close the app or anything. If you close the app, it won't happen, by the way. Oh, I'm playing Clash of Clans now. Okay. So, yeah, uh, you can do quite a lot this one. You can play games. You can uh, you can do you can do anything you want, by the way. So, it's a pretty cool feature. If you're not if you if you don't have an Android TV, you don't you don't want to spend a lot of money on it. So, uh, that's that's pretty much it. By the way, if you again, if you want to cancel this whole process, you have to do is swipe down the control panel depending on what iPhone you're using, uh, swipe down or swipe above, swipe up, swipe up the control panel, control center, and just click on uh, click on screen record option. Remember the one we enabled uh, in the settings. So just click, just click on it and it will automatically disable the screen mirroring. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading tons more content so you don't want to miss it. Thank you so much for watching. This is it. And I'll see you in the next one. I appreciate your support, by the way. Peace out.